So now let's go to the business logic that is the view model which is our auth view model and remove the packages which shows errors also remove this Cupertino and also the unused packages so let's start from common view model let's import let's also import position then uh, one more is the home screen and also yeah that's it now let's update these methods these business logic according to the riders so first of all the rest of the code will remain the same one change is here when we save the image it will be riders images and then when we save data to firestore it will be riders main collection under which each rider we can recognize using the unique document id which is the user unique id for each rider just like we have it in case of sellers and in case of users the same we can have in the riders app for each rider and then we will have the same data like for each rider will have this information under the document id and then once the rider is saved the rider information is saved to the database then we save the information to local storage that is UID, email name and photo URL, image URL. Then comes the sign in business logic methods. So here we have when we say login user and we read data from Firestore and you know that it is riders main collection now as this is the riders app and using the document ID of that rider we get the information so we check if data exists then we check the status if it is approved then get the data from database and save it to the phone local storage or for that rider so yeah that's it this is all about the business logic for the riders go to global global instances remove the package which shows error and let's import auth view model so now let's test our application i will open up the rider phone the app uh, the phone is open now now let's install the app on our phone make sure to change the image on the display screen we have to update our image which is by the name splash.png if I show you it is basically this image splash.webp okay so it is webp this one close debugging install the app again on the phone so the app is running now let's go to sign up and I have to add some images to this emulator so go to Google Chrome and download some images So let's download any image quickly and yeah now let's go back to the app let's choose an image first then the rider app uh, the rider name let's say the rider name is Peter Parker then of course the phone number of the rider and then the password confirm password and then the current location now before the setting the current uh, getting the current location make sure if you are using your real phone it's okay you can just click on that if you are using any virtual device like this like emulator then you have to set the device location first so you can just click on this three rotated button it will open up the extended controllers which are these and then here you can set the location around you for example for the rider so I will set this okay choose that and simply click on set location so this device location is set so for example now if I click on get my current location we get error and it is because we have to add permission 
for using the location services so for that purpose go back to the sellers app as you know I open up the sellers app in here Android app SRC man Android manifest.xml and from here just copy this access file location access course location copy these and come back to your project Android app SRC man and then Android manifest.xml and simply add here these permissions now one thing we have to make sure is also let's add permission which is for using internet connection okay it is important to add so we can say that let's copy this paste it here okay and instead of access fine location we can say in capital letters internet i-n-t-e-r n-e-t okay just like this in the same way these same permissions we have to make sure that we add in our other application as well for example I will close this okay close Visual Studio code this is we add in the writers app just close this project and what we need to do is we need to go to the users app we need to make sure that it is also we add here okay because uh, we will use the location services here as well so Android app SRC man and then Android manifest.xml so add that here as well like this and similarly close this go to the sellers app inside the sellers app go to Android app SRC man Android manifest.xml here we have to add the internet okay these two are already here so yeah that's it make sure to add this permission here so anyways let's go back now to our riders app so once you come back here okay as you we have already added the permissions now we are ready to test our application again so let's install the app on our phone so as you can see it asks for the permission because the permission is already implemented on the man dot dot you already know about it okay which is this one so now let's go back let's use image quickly the form is filled now let's click on sign up please wait account created successfully now if we check out let's start from the authentication you can see the seller account seller is authenticated with its own unique ID then in the storage the rider images folder is created under which the rider image is saved then in the database riders man collection is created under which for each rider record each rider record has its own document unique ID which is basically the user UID unique ID for each rider and under which we have the rider information as you can see now the next thing is to we will we do not need this uh, drawer okay in the riders app we will have a dashboard here for the rider just like you guys see in the introduction video of this course so for now what we can do is of course for now we will just check the login feature so we will sign out and also in case of uh, sign in go to the auth view model when the sign in when the user is sign in successfully then in that case we have to display a message which is logged in successful just like this okay let's install the app again on our phone and now let's test out the sign in feature password and let's click on login checking credentials and we are signed in successfully as you can see that now as I told you guys that we do not need the navigation drawer instead we will have a dashboard for the rider so from the widgets you can delete this my drawer dot dot okay delete anyway and then go to the main screen home screen and from here remove this my drawer 
okay drawer my drawer so now if I show you it will look like this okay as you can see by default let's show this back button of course we do not need that so in order to remove it we use automatic employee leading we set it to false so it will remove the default back button like that make sure to remove this package my drawer dot dot since you know we have deleted it and it will show you this red line which means the error so once you delete it then you can test out the application